Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox error code 279 failed to connect to the game. So let's begin. So here we are, and if you're having this error right here, as I have shown you in the, in the image right here, then I have the solution for you, so let's get on it right away. So the first thing that I want you to do is go into your start menu, and from here you want to type run, and you want to run the run app right here. And from here you want to type up data in the open, in the type right here so you want to type up data and you want to click on it ok and after that you would have these three folders right here and you want to open the local and from here you want to find your roblox um, roblox folder right here so in my case it's right here and you want to delete your folder right here and you want to select that delete it right there so you don't have to worry about it uh, losing personal data because your account will not be deleted if you delete the folder right here and the next thing that I want you to do is go into your browser. So the browser you're using, so for example, you're using a Google Chrome. So let's go into Google Chrome. And what I want you to do is go into the settings of the browser. And from here, you want to go into your cookies. So you want to search settings, cookies, right here. And you want to go for third-party cookies right here. And you want to find the option where it says see all site data and permissions and you want to go there and you want to search for roblox right there and from here you want to go and delete all uh, data that is relevant to roblox right here so you want to click here so to delete it and you want to click clear and remember depending on your browser it is different on how you can get here on this setting right here but you have the same goal which is to go here into the site all data and you want to search for roblox and delete all the data related to it and now i want you to exit on your browser or close your browser and after that after you have deleted all the data on that browser then i want you to go into your start menu and type firewall and you would open the windows defender firewall right here and from here you want to click on allow an app or feature to windows defender firewall and from here you want to click on change settings right here and you would see a bunch of settings right here so you want to search for roblox right here so r roblox right here and as you can see here it is here's my roblox right here and you want to make sure that it is checked for private and public right here at the check box and you also want to make sure that it's checked right here and the next thing is if you don't have the roblox right here if you can't find your roblox then what I want you to do is go into your Rob your start menu and type Roblox and you would have the Roblox player right here and you want to click and go and for open file location right click on it and click open file location and you would see it right here so all you have to do is basically copy the location so you want to click here and you want to go for copy this copy desktop it's just in desktop in my case but if in yours it might be a little different it might be a little more complex than this and you want to go click here back here allow an, another app and you want to click on browse and you simply want to go and paste it right here and it's in desktop so and from here you want to go and select the roblox player right there and click on open and add right there and as you can see i have now two roblox right here so i'll just undo it or maybe just stay like that and you want to make sure that the private and public box is ticked after that you want to click on ok and after that you want to go and exit so the next thing that i want you to do is go into your start menu and from here you want to type roblox and you would have your roblox player app right here and you want to go and open the file location for this one so you can just right click this or click an open file location and you will be prompted to where it is and you want to right click on the roblox player uh, shortcut and from here you want to click on properties and from here you want to go into the compatibility and you want to make sure that you dis enable the disable full screen optimization and you want to tick the box also for run this program as administrator and after that you can click on apply and ok and after that you want to close all this and the next thing is go into your start menu again and from here type cmd and you want to run the command prompt as administrator so you can also right click it and click on run as administrator and you want to run and click on yes when you are prompted with a yes or no choice and from here what i want you to type is simply ipconfig 
space flush dash flush DNS, just like that. And you want to hit enter. And the next thing is net, net winsuck reset, just like that. And you want to hit enter again. And the next thing is net, net win, um, it's int IP reset, just like that. You will now copy all the commands that I've written here. So you want to hit enter. And after that, you can now successfully exit by typing exit right here. Or yeah, the thing exit or just, just like that. And after you have done this, then all you have to do now is just basically restart your computer right here in the start menu and you now click the power button and click on restart. And after that, you can see that your problem is solved. You can now start the game again. And thank you for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so that you won't miss our future updates. Thank you for watching.